EKU Baseball wrapped up the non-conference part of their schedule last night with a game against the Kentucky Wildcats. Now the Cats would jump out to a 4-0 lead through the first three innings, but Matt Olive leads off the fifth with a laser to left. This bounces off the wall and Eastern has their first hit of the game. Logan Starnes up next and he takes this 2-0 pitch the other way to deep right center for a double. Colonels would get in the run column as Kenny Hostrander delivers an RBI single to center. Murphy came in to run for Olive, slides in safely, EKU down three. With Colonels at the corners, the Cats would give Eastern a little help as Becker misplays the Warren Felds dribbler. Starn scores, cutting EKU deficit in half. Hostrander would then come in to score on an Alvarez sack fly as Eastern crawls to within one. Ben Fisher leading off the sixth and the junior sends one to deep center, bouncing it off the wall for a stand-up double. A couple of wild pitches later allowed Ben Fisher to come around and score and tie this game at four. Still in the sixth, one out, runners at second and third, and Warren Fells rolls one to second for an RBI ground out, scoring Holderbach to give Eastern a 5-4 lead. Now Chris Cervantes was money out of the bullpen. Here he is in the fifth getting Becker swinging to start a 1-2-3 inning. Here in the sixth, UK would get their leadoff man on and try to move him into scoring position, but Logan Starnes brought the cannon. From there, Cervantes would set down 11 of the next 14, none looking as nice as the last one of the game as White skies one to shallow left center, and Cole Warnfeltz makes an over-the-shoulder tumbling catch to put a hound dog look on the Cats' faces and claim a 5-4 victory. It was the second time this season EKU baseball has beaten an SEC team. Cervantes got his first win of the season throwing six innings of shutout baseball and holding the Cats to just one hit. So the Colonels, who are locked in a three-way tie for the last spot in the conference tournament, take their four-game winning streak on the road as they travel to Jacksonville State. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.